Hey friends, and thanks for joining us from wherever you are with whoever you are, are gathering with on this first Sunday in Advent. We're pausing to be healed and made whole by Jesus and to bring that healing and wholeness into the world. So if you're not already, join us over at monroefmc.com slash advent1. For uh, this service, you can follow us um, fully on that website, monroefmc.com slash advent1. We're going to begin by setting our intention. O Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From, From him, him comes my salvation. And a corporate reading of Psalm 80, verses 1 through 7 and 17 through 19. A prayer for Israel's restoration. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, Stir up your might and come to save us. Restore, Restore us, O God. God. Let, Let your face shine that we may be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You make us the scorn of our neighbors, our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore, Restore us, O God, God of hosts. Let, let your, your face, face shine, shine that, that we may be saved. But let your hand be upon the one at your right hand, the one whom you made strong for yourself. Then we will never turn back from you. Give us life, and we will call on your name. Restore, Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Let, let your, your face shine that we may be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our Old Testament reading this morning comes from Isaiah chapter 64, beginning in verse 1. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, so that the mountains would quake at your presence, as when the fire kindles brushwood, and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down, and the mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways. Yet you were angry and we sinned because you hid yourself, we transgressed. We have all become like one who is unclean and our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls on your name or attempts to take hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us into the hand of our iniquity. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. Now consider, we are all your people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The New Testament letter from 1 Corinthians 1 verses 3 through 9. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him in speech and knowledge and of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end, so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our gospel lesson this morning comes from Mark chapter 13, beginning in verse 24. But in those days, after that suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers in heaven will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. Then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds and the earth, ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. 
from the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. And truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn. Or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Hmm. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. So in the season of Advent, it is a season of, of waiting, of longing, of paying attention to what God is doing and hoping that he will come and save us and, and save those around us and bring his kingdom come. It's a time of contemplation and stillness and longing. So this time in our service, we invite you to a time of prayer to be with God, to listen to God, and maybe to offer your own prayers on behalf of yourself, your family, your neighbors, our world. Let's prepare with this invitation to prayer. We seek the Almighty God in the most unlikely places, as a child in a stable and in an empty tomb. May God hear these prayers, which come from the unlikely corners of our lives. Friends, we're going to give you five minutes now. We'll set the timer uh, so that no, none of us feel like it's too long or too short. We'll all have five minutes of silence and stillness. If you respond out loud in prayer, we invite you to, to uh, end your prayer with, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
Give ear, give us ears to hear, O God, and eyes to watch, that we may know your presence in our midst during this holy season of joy as we anticipate the coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. So as we begin the lighting of the Advent candle, the Advent season, um, lighting the candles is a, a reminder of the, the themes of waiting that we participate in. And so for this first Sunday, um, if you're not familiar with the practice, there are four smaller candles and there's one larger candle. Um, so if you want to gather those. They don't have to be fancy. We have some here. Um, traditionally, there are three purple candles, one pink one. The pink one is for week three. Mm -hmm. And then the Christ candle is always white. Um, we have four little white candles and one large white candle. So, so there's you some, can get any kind that work for you. They don't have to match. There's some flexibility and there is some grace, especially in the middle of a pandemic. Don't run out to the store and expose yourself just to get the right color candle. Uh, so join us in this reading. Uh, it's, it's on the website as well. The peace of Christ be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Today we remember the prophets of old who demanded to be heard, who dared to speak of a child to come. He would be a liberator of the people and a vulnerable incarnation of the holiest of holies, God made flesh. Today, we give thanks for the prophets among us who speak the words of God and challenge us to do as he would do. And so on this first Sunday of Advent, we light the first candle to remember the prophets who renew our faith and remind us of what the future can hold. And now, friends, as we enter into this week of waiting ahead of us, Hear this benediction. God of justice and peace, from the heavens you rain down mercy and kindness, that all the earth may stand in awe and wonder before your marvelous deeds. Raise our heads in expectation that we may yearn for the coming day of the Lord and stand without blame before your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let's sing together our song of sending for the season of Advent, Wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord, whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Amen. Go in peace.